Hello, my name is Dawson and I am studying computer science at the University of Idaho. Today, we're going to learn about circuits, technology, and energy. Circuits are the pathways that electricity flows through. In this activity, we will show you how to create a physical circuit to power a light bulb using potatoes. We'll also build a virtual model of our circuit. After you've completed this activity, you will be able to describe the flow of electrical energy through a simple circuit and better explain how electronic devices work. Let's get started. For this activity, each person or group working together to complete the activity will need the following. 10 large sized potatoes, five sets of alligator clip wires. If you don't have these, they're easy to find in the hardware section of most box or hardware stores. You can also find a link to purchase them online on our website. 10 pennies, 10 galvanized nails. Galvanized just means the nails have a zinc coating that is essential to your activity working properly. One LED. These are easy to find online. You can also visit our website for a link. Access to the 3D modeling program Tinkercad online at tinkercad.com. Once you have all your materials collected, you're ready to begin. Carefully place one galvanized nail and one copper penny into the potato wherever you like. Make sure the two different metals don't touch each other in the potato. If they're touching, a continuous loop won't be formed and your electrons can't flow. Connect one alligator clip wire to the end of the penny sticking out of the potato and the other alligator clip wire to the end of the nail sticking out of the potato. Connect the alligator clip that's connected to the penny to one of the LED leads. You may need to bend the leads on the LED to make them easier to clip. Connect the other alligator clip that's connected to the nail to the other LED lead. This will close your circuit, allowing the flow of electrons to be constantly moving. If you have enough voltage, your LED will light up. Depending on its size, each potato produces a different amount of voltage or pressure pushing the electrical current through your circuit. You can think of your wire as a water pipe and the voltage as the water pressure. If your LED does not light up, this means you might need more potatoes. Make sure the alligator clip connects a penny and a nail from each potato and that you have a closed circuit to the LED. Potatoes are good for conducting electricity because of their chemical makeup. The salt in the potato creates a bridge linking the two metals of the nail and penny together, forming your closed circuit. Other foods like tomatoes, carrots, sweet potatoes, and even cucumbers can also conduct electricity. Now it's time to recreate your potato circuit using 3D modeling tools in Tinkercad. Visit tinkercad.com slash join class, click the button join your class, type in your class code and nickname. We'll give you a minute. Once you're logged in, you will see your dashboard. From your dashboard on the left hand side, there is a menu of items you can design using Tinkercad. Go ahead and click circuits. You will see other designs students also participating in Expo have created. To start your own design, click Create New Circuit. Now walk step by step through the design process. The components in Tinkercad are located on the right hand side of the screen. There are a variety of different components, but we are just going to be using the basic components. You can erase a component by clicking on it and clicking the trash can icon on the top left corner of the screen. To rotate elements, you can click on the icon with triangles and arrows right next to the trash can icon. For our potato circuit, we are going to need potatoes. So you can use the search bar on the right side of the screen and enter potato and a potato battery should appear. Click and drag as many potatoes as you want to add. Tinkercad will show you the voltage and resistance of the potato. We are also going to need an LED light. You can go ahead and search LED and then drag it onto the screen. To begin designing, all you need to do is drag and drop elements from the components tab located on the right hand side of the screen. To connect different elements, you need to click on one element and drag your cursor to the element you want to connect it to. A green line should appear. Make sure when you are connecting different potatoes together, you always connect from the nail of one potato to the penny of the other potato. The LED needs to be connected to a nail and a penny as well. Remember, if your circuit is broken, the light will not turn on. Make sure each element is connected to something else to create a closed loop. The goal of your design is to light up your LED light or lights. To see if it works, you will need to click on the Start Simulation button in the upper right hand corner. It has a play icon right next to it. The light will turn on if there is enough voltage from the number of potatoes you've added. 
To make your design unique, you can add different colors of LED lights, multiple potatoes, or multiple LED lights. To change the color of the LED lights, click on the light and click on the drop down arrow next to color. There are many different colors to choose from. Feel free to play around with it to see how many potatoes are required to light one LED and then add on from there. You can make the circuit as big or as small as you want. Be sure to name your design by adding a title in the upper left. When you've finished your design, click the Send To button at the top right. Click the button to download a picture of your design. You'll need this picture to upload when you're entering to win prizes and scholarships. You can find more information and real life examples of how the concepts you learned in this video are related to real life engineering solutions. Don't forget to take a picture of yourself or your group with your completed project, along with a picture of your 3D modeled circuit and submit it online at uidaho.edu slash engineering the future for a chance to win prizes and scholarships. And we'll see you at Expo April 29th. Go Vandals!